Tampa choking in the playoffs. Name a better duo. As you know, last year after I watched the Lightning lose in Game 7 in the Eastern Conference Finals, I hadn't put out a video for a straight month and a half. During the playoffs, I was all watching the games, and that was pretty much the case this year. The weekend before the playoffs started, I grinded hard. I recorded four videos, two episodes of the puck drop, two others, which you'll see here in a few days, all ready to go so I could blast through them so I could just have some content ready and watch the playoffs. And then, you know, I watched the first game of the Columbus series, a little bit heartbroken there. Just one more game, sure enough Tampa's gonna come around. That didn't happen. At this point, I'm like, you know what? YouTube can wait for a bit. I'm gonna watch the boys pull it out in six games. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? And then, I mean, I only watched two periods of game four. I was taken out of the house at my will, which was probably for the better because I hear that third period wasn't anything better. And after that point, I was just completely depressed, didn't even care. But now that the second round is just about ending, the Canes are on a hot streak right now, just swept the Islanders. I think Boston just defeated Columbus tonight, two grass putting up a shutout. So the playoffs are still grinding, and so are we. Over the past couple days, grinded hard. Those four videos that I recorded in raw data went ahead and edited them down. So we're gonna have four brand new episodes here over the coming weeks. So you know you're gonna be getting some content. Now I'm gonna be trying, I say this in my videos a lot, I'm gonna be trying to get the Puck Drop series done before the end of the playoffs. You're also, it's gonna be very awkward. You're gonna hear me talk. <laughs> I recorded all of these before the playoffs started. You know how Tampa season went. You know how it ended. I was riding high on the Tampa train, so bear with me through the videos. I didn't just skip over them and act like they didn't happen. You'll clearly see me go in there and add some I took jabs at myself, but that's pretty much it. Enjoy. What's going on guys? Pack Daddy here bringing you the 17th episode of the Puck Drop. Today we can advance to Division 4 with one more point. We got a couple games to do it. We got four pucks here because we squeaked out a victory. The last game we played with four to two was the final score. We have 113,000 coins. We are negative 900 because we're an idiot and opened up the Extreme Pack. It's Community Team of the Year. Will we do enough games to get out of this negative 900 point hole and get back up to a thousand? I guess we'll find out. But it's time to start dropping some of these prizes and some of these pucks. You got a lot of suggestions in the comment section. Oh, come on. Ah, regular silver pack, dumb old silver pack. Come on, let's do one more. Gold pack. I don't think it's gonna find a gold plus pack. Come on, let's get lucky here. That is a silver plus pack. Get to the inside. Freaking A, let's go! Alright, so we're gonna take that gold pack. I always, it's freaking April and I can't remember how much a gold pack is. Alright, it's 300 points, so we're gonna dig ourselves out of a little bit of a hole, so we're now at negative 600 points. We're gonna keep the silver plus pack. We always throw that one up to the point bank. We're gonna try it out today. Hopefully it gives us a little bit of luck. We also got a silver pack. We're gonna keep that gold plus pack to open it. There's a 94 primetime cane in it. I think Patrick Waugh is in it. You know what? We can find this out. Give me one sec. All right, so there is a 94 primetime came. Vladimir Tarasenko, 89. Some good, good cards out. Community Team of the Year. We knew that already. But there is also still Peter Forsberg and a Patrick Watt in packs. Imagine if we packed one of those guys. We probably wouldn't sell the uh, Peter Forsberg. But if we got that Patrick Watt, we'd sell him because Bishop is playing great for us. And Patrick Watt, all right, all right, there goes the internet. You knew I was coming for those good pulls because we spent $600 on Team of the Year this year pulled a Daniel Carr. That was the only team of the year we pulled much harder than last year. I think last year we did something. I think we spent like a grand last year and pulled 22 team of the year players. And that was including like a Carlson. That was like top tier Stamkos. I think we pulled an Evgeny Malkin, like a Taylor Hall. We pulled a lot of really good players last year. Couldn't do it this year, but if we could get this Patrick Wall, we definitely sell him for some coin. There is also out these mini and shy town playoff predictor cards and then this 99 PK Suva. How did we get these? I have no clue. We're gonna open them though. Maybe it's a gift from EA. I, have, I honestly have, have no clue how I got this. A couple contracts, we get a couple healing cards. And in the bronze pack, we're gonna get a Patrick Watt right here. Mark my words, not even a gold card. All right, so it's time to open some of these packs that we got from the board. We're gonna open a silver pack, a silver plus pack, and a gold plus pack in hopes we can build this team just a little bit. Once again, if we can't do it here, we have over 110,000 coins. And one of the suggestions that I liked was Ken Denico's card. He was a staple on my main team for the longest time. So we're probably gonna pick him up if we can't get some equally as impressive in these packs. In the silver pack, we did not get a single gold player. Oh, man. All right, so that's one pack down. That was also the worst pack though. It's been a while since we opened up silver plus pack on this account. Let's see it pay off for it. 
Let's go Ryan Johansson. Not bad. Gold rare. All right. Going in the right direction. I right, go plus pack time. Let's go. I haven't gotten, I always say this, a decent pull in a while from any of these packs. We're going to just blast through the animation. Come on, show me something. Good. Nothing. Gold common. Gold common. Troy Stetcher. Diamond card. Jake Gardner. Yikes. I had a pretty decent collection of gold commons and gold rares, so now it's time to do a couple rerolls. There's some good cards out right now. Can't get that Forsberg or that Patty Wall, but we can get those primetime cards. Wayne Simmons, 82. I want you to go ahead and add about 12 points to that overall average. Show me that Kane, right saddle. All right, whatever. So as I said before, I really like the idea of having a Ken Denico on the team. It's looking like we can get him for under 60,000 coins, 59,750. Looks like it's gonna be the best price that we can get here. I mean, Ken Danico's a sick card. I just recently took him off the team. He's an 88 overall, great acceleration, agility, decent speed, 95 overall. He's got decent durability at an 84, way higher than Mark Messier. So he's gonna be a solid left defenseman for us, playing right defenseman. I think we're gonna probably replace Victor Hedman with this Ken Danico card, but he is a solid pickup. We're gonna retain the, how much does this leave us with? About another 60,000 coins until the next episode. I like being able to pick up one good purchase every episode and improve that team slightly. So let me know in the comment section the next addition to the team that we need to pick up because this one was straight user suggested and most of them are. So we're six, two and zero oh in division five. One more point to get that title. We can move on to division four where it's unlimited rewards. In the team, you guys know what's coming. We're gonna come over here and we got Wade Redden. He's filthy. Mahavlich has a cannon. So I guess it's Victor Hedman is gonna be seeing the pine. We're gonna put him up on the auction house. I don't know how much a Victor Hedman goes for nowadays. The Stamco still goes for a hot ticket. 85s though, I can't imagine them going for much. I still got Brad Park. I gotta sell all these guys. I got Ghost and Proveroff sitting in my inbox, just deteriorating in value. So maybe we'll sell those before our next episode. Dude, I like this guy's jerseys. They're sick. Who's he got? Galchenyuk, number 69. All right, hopefully he just tries to, oh gosh, come on guys. Really, check from the back, gets the puck free of him. Then he go, bam! Oh my gosh, he just killed some guy on his first shift. The ship didn't want to let that puck go. We're gonna freeze this one. Mahovlich, rip it! Oh my gosh, Mahovlich is an animal! Does he have a card higher than 86? If so, we need to buy that. Instantaneously assisted by Alexander Ovechkin. What an absolute cannon! Oh my gosh, dude, Mahovlich is amazing. Dude, Bufflin, the goalie gave you the puck. You were standing next to him and you whiffed on it. Oh, Messi, I do bring the puck with you. All right, that's rough. All right, that was kind of a weak first period. None of us getting, none of us really getting that many opportunities on net, not getting many shots towards the net. We did manage to come away with the first period. We're up one to nothing. So it's a tight game. We just got to stay on this guy. Come on, Messier, burn him. Dude, that's an Aaron Carlson. You can roll. Oh, that's a boring. No. <gasps> no, I went just so pass it to the guy in front. Oh my gosh, guys. There it is. Can we freaking pass it? Just one time into the open, man. We're getting a four minute high sticking penalty against us though. So somehow we lucked out at that one. So hopefully we're gonna get two power play goals right here. Oh, beautiful save by Parent. Two on one. No, I almost had it. Should've just shot that. <laughs> Come on. Gosh, Parent, let one in please. All right, that's the end of the second period and apparently I got a penalty at some point during that. Now we're killing off a penalty to start the third period. We're still have, we still have the lead, we just need to put him away, shut down defense, or just absolutely light his goalie up. Bernie Parent though is playing pretty all right. Come on, Messi, burn him. You're faster than everybody out here. Short side. Freaking yeah, short-handed goal, Mark Messi. There we go, baby. Do your roll, do your logins. I was waiting for him to turn those jets on, holy crap. But he has terrible endurance, so he's probably gassed for the rest of the game. Oh my gosh, what a three on one off of an amazing save. Did I get a stick on that? I can't tell. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Four minutes left on the PK, up by two though. We're gonna hold on to this victory here. He's got four minutes left and momentum right now. We gotta try and stop this one from being tied up. Yes, Mahovlich! Just like that dagger and the hopes and dreams of this guy for trying to tie this game up. We now got the two goal lead back, thanks to Crosby and Eric Carlson. Let's go, boys. Oh, Tidy Kane, do the heartbreaker for me. 
or not it's cool you're getting the fourth goal with 40 seconds left let's get one more max out rewards for the last hunt it's the last time you're gonna hear me say that maxing out rewards hopefully puts this controller down gives us an easy goal side note it's hard for me to score <laughs> that way we came out with a three goal lead winning that one by a final score of four to one ben bishop still playing pretty hot for us ken denico did he find the stat sheet at all i'm not too sure we're going to check out the game stats real quick frank mahovlich having himself a two point night same with eric carlson and Sidney crosby okay Danico didn't make the stat sheet but but we are getting that coin bonus of 2000 winning the division title moving on to season four your final game stats he outshot me 19 to 15 but we did have almost two times the amount of time on attack got a shorthanded goal went one for four in the power plays not the best but still halfway decent so nice end to that one we're gonna get four pucks for the next drop first one of division four let's go all right the guys are playing hot when we need them to and that is exactly why we have four pucks here ready to go and get some fresh rewards not a good omen for the start of Division 4. All right, come on, we're negative 600. We need some high value players, and that's what's gonna get us them. I really meant to say high value point packs, but you get so excited when you get a gold plus pack. We're gonna drop the same one right down the middle. Go for another gold plus, come on. That's a regular silver pack. We already got one gold plus in the bank. That's a silver plus pack, not bad. Come on, into the middle we go. Bronze pack. Dang, that sucks. All right, so we gotta get out of this negative, and that's gonna happen with some big packs. We're gonna take that 700 points that we get from the gold plus pack. Unfortunately, that means the best pack we're gonna open this time is a silver plus pack, but that does mean that we are out of the negative, so we now have 100 points. There we go, let's go. All right, so the first thing we must do is open this title reward pack. Gotten one for every division so far. Hopefully, we'll get four more. Four, three, two, four more. All right, what's in this guy? Nothing. Could have opened you, but we decided to bank the gold plus pack, so we get to do this guy, this guy, and this guy. All right, we're gonna start things off with the bronze plus pack. If I get a good card in here, I'll snap. No snapping. All right, it's now time for a silver pack and then a silver plus pack. 150 points. I've seen some decent pulls in these before, but I don't think it's actually true because I've never seen it happen. I've opened up a ton of these. Nico Hishir. Look at that jersey. Dudes, that... Do we try that out? I don't think it's better than our jailbreak jerseys, though. All right, the best pack we're going to open from the last game. Come on, silver plus pack. 400 points. Give me somebody good. All right, we're just going to go individual through this guy. Come on. Show me something, silver plus. That's not what I'm wanting to see. We get an 87 overall Tim Horton for advancing to Division Four. Do I try him out? I love me some Tim Horton. Maybe he'll add a little bit of speed to our uh, blue line because Dustin Bufflin, he is fun, but man, he is slow. I'm glad this happened not during a game. That is just brutal. <clears throat> All right, Goudreau, Bergeron. He doesn't have a Gretzky lineup against me. Bam! Big check to start things off. Uh-oh, no. Uh -oh. Don't let him shoot. Don't let Goudreau shoot. Oh my gosh, Bishop. Nice save to start this thing out. Gosh, I knew he was gonna do that. I just say, oh, 89 Gatorade Crosby, interesting card. Don't see many of those guys. An 86, I can't even read it, my lines were in the way. But I knew he was gonna cut up in there. I just need to wreck him with Denny Co. once, and he'll be scared to do that move again. I forgot I was switching out Tim Horton for Dustin Bufflin. I was like, man, Bufflin moves slow. That's because the game shut off last time I tried to bring him out. Bishop, another huge save. Come on, guys, help your team. That's not how you help your team. There it is. True. Oh my gosh, going far down. 87 overall. Picked him up last episode. He's filthy. Getting an assist from Lindholm. 287 team in the weeks. Helping each other out. Getting us back on the board. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, that was almost sick. Carlson. <laughs> Mahovlich, he was inspired by that dangle of a move. Oh my gosh. Defense is buzzing out here, boys. All Bishop, nice save. Whoop. All right, end of the first period. We came back from that one. We always let our other guys, we always let our opponents score a goal before us, just to make it a little bit interesting. We put two on the board there. I think the boys are playing pretty all right. We got to come away in the second and third, try and not max out rewards, just get as many freaking Genos as we can. Let's go. 
Do not contest the Messier in the corner. Come on. One timer. Stammer hit the net, dude. That's your wheelhouse. One more time. There we go. Don't leave Stamkos there all alone. That's 85 base Stamkos. I mean, granted, it was about 20 feet closer than he normally shoots from, but Messi is helping him out with the assist. He knows where to look for him. He's a smart guy. Oh, he's gone. Dude, come on. I hate this. Danico, what you got for me, buddy? I can't fight. I can't fight. Come on, Danico. No. All right, whatever. Oh, and then I do that. Absolute dagger, man. That's going to suck. Closure second of the night, assisted from Mahovlich. Let's go, boys. We're at four rewards now. There's no stopping us. <laughs> That's number five. Stamkos to Messier. Let's go. Hey, at least he came late in the game when he's already down by four. Conway. No, off the crossbar, dude. That was it. That was my shot. Oh, we got Carlson. One more. Dangle. Get in there. Oh, no, I blocked it. Oh my gosh, dude. I had so many chances to get my sixth goal, but it just didn't happen. But hey, we still got the first victory of Division 4. We came out on top of this one with a score of 5-2. to two. One, two games, 15 hits. We're getting some rewards here. End of the game, final stats. He had 22 to 10 were his shots. We had 10 minutes of time on attack. We really decided when and where we wanted to score, except for the entire third period because we couldn't find a freaking goal. All right, well, actually we did score once in the third period, so whatever. We still came on top of that one, five to two. Let's get back to the board. All right, we're gonna hit you guys up with a third game this episode because we're trying to finish this out. I want to say before the playoffs end, before the game becomes irrelevant, we got four pucks here, even though we scored five because I can't find the other two because I was throwing them at people all weekend. So we're just gonna have to remember where we take one from. We're hopefully just gonna go plus and get a board wipe. That's a bronze plus pack. That totally sucks. That looks like another bronze plus pack. That also totally sucks. Come on. In the middle we go. That was gonna be a bronze plus pack. What the heck is going on? Alright, that's just bullcrap. So that can be neither of those, so we're just gonna reroll this puck, put it in the top. Come on. Find the middle for me. Holy crap, a silver plus pack. We're just gonna get rid of this bronze pack. Go back up to the top. This is our fifth pack. This is just not cooperating. Like, make this easy for me, jeez. Come on, gold plus pack, everything but. So we're gonna bank the silver plus pack, totally sucks. We had 100 before, we're now back up to 500 points. We got two bronze plus packs, a silver pack and a gold pack, let's do it. All right, so we are back at the store. We have two bronze plus packs, a silver pack and a gold pack to open. We're gonna kick things off with the first bronze plus pack. Let me see that Patty Wah or not. The only reason that we haven't gotten anything good in these is because we're only opening up one each time we open packs. In the second, is still hot garbage. All right, silver pack, let's do it. 150 points equal to $1.50, just about. The best thing that we're getting in these packs is this gold jersey and this gold jersey. Other than that, there is not much in here. Last pack of the episode, the first gold pack of Division 4. Give me a Division 4-like player. Come on, Peter Forsberg. Let's see it. Oh, well, that is bad. That is bad. <laughs> All right, so we're already back up to 75,000 coins. Probably going to be somewhere near 78,000 by the time all that stuff sells. 24 items on the auction house. What we're going to do is we're going to hop into this next game. We're not going to forget to put Tim Horton on the line instead of Dustin Bufflin. I'm going to do that without showing you guys. Game time. We got Pedersen as a starting center. Danger. Timeout. I've never seen someone call a timeout in the first period at a dead even game with 10 minutes left. Oh. Come on. Oh, freaking frost, man, at the point. Gosh, what a stagnant period. I mean, we could not get anything going past that first 10 minutes. I can't even imagine what the shots are. Six to two, same time on attack. The guy knows how to work the puck around the offensive zone. So we gotta stay tight on defense, really wait for those good opportunities. We're gonna not break out so much. Oh, maybe we are. We're gonna leave the zone early. We're gonna try it for like the first 10 minutes of the period and see where that gets us. Is this guy serious? I'm getting, oh my gosh, team of the year, Morgan Frost on the team. We're getting the first glance at his team and it's pretty decent. We gotta come around with the rebound here, quick. Oh, 
This is not how we do it, guys. Oh, I just got a boarding penalty. Oh, five minutes. That's so not good. Why did I do that? Oh, I got. I dug myself a hole. Can I get a, a puck through? No, Bishop! All the way from over there? I was aggravated that I couldn't get the puck through the skate of any of these defenders. Just, I mean, Messi was wide open to go. Oh, that's aggravating, and he still is on the power play for another four minutes. What are my guys even doing? They're not even tying these people up anymore. Trying to stay in front of the puck, it's just not happening. Oh my gosh, this team's so good. There's a start for you, Dylan Larkin getting it done. First point of the night. Where's my team at? 96 team of the year, Pedersen? This guy's in division four? Oh my gosh, <laughs> what an animal. Oh, that's a penalty shot. No, he's gonna make it five on me with three minutes left. Unless we can stop him, we do got Winnie the Bish. Ooh, big save, there we go. No, Kucherov, dude, outside of the pipe. Wide of the net. My guys do not want it. Bishop's over there diving sideways. 92 All-Star Atkinson? Come on, dude. That 96 Pedersen. That explains a lot. Oh, his Rene stops that too. Unbelievable. Come on, we got 10 seconds to get one more goal. Drew hits the outside of the pipe too. What are we doing? One more? Oh, that's gonna shoot to nothing. He's shooting to nothing. Oh my gosh. This was not the way to end the episode. That is infuriating. <laughs> oh, you hate to see it, guys. You hate to see it. Unfortunately, that's the second time we've lost this season. I'm very interested to see the rest of this guy's team. I wonder which Pecorino he has in net because this Pecorino played like a stud. We are one and one through two games in Division Four. We played three games this episode. Went two and one. Shots were 29 to 13. He had the time on attack. I have a feeling though that that five on four for five straight minutes helped him out, but he definitely had the better team. He definitely had the better play style. Let's check out the rest of his team because it was absolutely nasty. His Joe Sackick three points. Who's this? Morgan Frost had three points as well. He had this Elias Pedersen, 96 overall team of the year. Wasn't his only team of the year, 91 Latang. 89 P.K. Subban, 92 Cam Atkinson, he's got Stan Mikita, Mark Messier, Joe Neuendijk, 92 Pronger, my god, this guy was absolutely insane, Cornway, 86, he's got the 91 Christmas Fowler, oh, what a beautiful card, 93 overall, G Zus, 99 Evolution McKinnon, my main account has a bunch of these players. I mean, pretty much actually just this Nathan McKinnon and the Joe Sackick, the new and Dyke. What a stud. 90 playoff predictor, Jason Zucker. Brock Besser, competitive seasons. Interesting. Paul Statsny, or Peter Statsny, and Mark Gardner. And in net. Well, that's back up. 84. <laughs> this guy's playing like an animal. We're going to check out the stats real quick. I'm just curious to see what division this guy plays in. And who we got matched up against, because that was unreal. I feel like he's a little bit better than Division 4. So he is in Division 1. <laughs> 211 and 33 and 10. He's won 40 titles. I bet you a bunch of those are for Division 1. What? The, why would they match me up against somebody like this? One more time, we're just going to check out his team. That is just stupid. We're in Division 4. I've heard about the whole three divisions up, or two divisions up, I think it is. So at max we could play Division 2, but that is not the case here today. Oh my gosh, just look at this team. If only, man, if only. Just to think we were tied with them at one point. Golly, <laughs> stupid. So with a team record now of 33-3-1. and one. So alright, I, I guess we did have an episode where I lost both games I played in. 33-3-1, the overall of 90. So I mean, that was pretty decent. That, though, did give us a blemish on our record as far as, like, looking at the recent games. Check this out. All these wins in a row. We are right on a hot streak. Had those two losses right there in the same episode. But other than that, we're on a bit of a win heater. So, do I, does it scare me? No. What if we get matched up against guys like that for the rest of Division 4? 
Probably yes then, but we're gonna end this episode here today. That was three games in one episode Once again, I'm trying to power through these episodes it's gonna take a little bit extra of an effort So if you guys could if you never liked the video of mine before smash the like on this one because we're gonna be powering through this one Unfortunately, we only got one puck to drop at the start of the next episode That's a bit of a rough look, but then again, we did run into an absolute freight train of an opponent So I mean can you blame me for losing that one? But thanks for watching this episode of the puck drop once again smash that thumbs up try and get 200 likes on this video Let me know in the comment section who you guys think I should pick up I don't know what happened to that Tim Horton. I don't know where he went. But we got 80,000 coins right now. Do we want to get rid of some of the slow guys on defense? Replace Stam Coaster Kucherov on line one. Maybe with their upgraded card. Maybe get an 87 team of the week or a milestone player. Maybe their team of the week or a primetime player. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section though because I am checking it. That's why I got that Ken Denico. Though he posted like zero points this game. I don't know if I can trust you guys anymore. But thanks for watching. Uh, playoffs are coming up soon. I'm super hyped about it. I hope you guys are too, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This is Pac-Yay. I'm out.